Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHUT.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for RuneScape, an epic 3D fantasy MMORPG published by Jagex. Now I'll spend my 5-10 minutes running around checking the game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play RuneScape or just learn more about it, check it out full review on the link below. So let's go to player selection over here. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, world select. So we have a wow, we have a lot of servers over here. Let's just check this out for a minute. So the player base in this game is without a doubt very high. We have a lot of servers. Some servers are dedicated to members only, which is, uh, you should keep that in mind. I'm not sure what these money bags are. Loot share? Nope. There's no loot sharing going on here. So let's go play on this US server over here with 309 players. You know what? Let's go... Let's get fine. We'll go on this 309 player server. Though this one has 2,000. So let's go ahead and go on here. World ping is 106. Click here to play. Good deal. Now this is a really, really epic MMORPG because it's really one of the first ones out there. It came out in 2001, back when the only MMORPGs were Ultima Online and EverQuest. So this came out during those times. Now it, it, it's good that I'm doing this first look because I never really got into RuneScape, so I can't really comment on it before. So this is really a first look for me as well. So let's check this out. It's a game I've played on and off like once, but like I never really got into it. So we have we have a good amount of character customization options over here. And the graphics aren't that great, but guys, this is a browser-based game, so it's not exactly a big deal. So I'm not going to spend too much time here. I want to get into the game and talk more about that. We got a long beard. I like it. We got plain top. All right. Light buttons. Good deal. So wow, we do have a lot of character customization here. More so than most games, guys. More so than most games. So let's confirm our character. Rotate the camera using the Whoa, we got voiceovers telling us how to play. Click All right, so... Unfortunately, we do have a tutorial to complete, to which may take a little bit longer than I want it to, but alright. I gotta do this. Click on the... Alright, I can walk. I can change my camera angles with uh, the D-pad. Can I do it with WSAD? Nope. D-pad changes my camera angles. And left click to move. Pretty simple. Uh, basic interfaces remain the same since the game originally released back in 2001. Can we get... Can I go up here? I wanna go up the ladder. Examine the ladder. Walk here. Right, I got little arrows under my feet telling me exactly where to go, so unfortunately uh -huh. I cannot skip this. Click continue, click continue. Wait a moment, there's a dragon coming. So yeah, uh -oh. I mean the game's latest update is an HD patch in 2008. And it's really just up the graphics significantly. I mean the game's graphics are completely different now than they were back when the game originally released. I know a lot of people, I mean this is a pretty controversial game. A lot of people either hate this game or they love it. Look at those sick HD graphics right there. That guy just turned into a pile of shields. Was that me? I was kind of behind that night dude too. Nope, I'm over here. I'm just cheering. Yeah, go go night dude. But yeah, this is one of those games a lot of people either hate or they love. With a very little middle ground. I don't know why. I, I can safely say that this is probably the most hated game out there. A lot of people will say this is lame. Oh my god, RuneScape. Oh my god, RuneScape sucks. But I mean, I, I don't know why some people hate the game. And MapleStory is on par with that. I mean, MapleStory gets a lot of hate too. So yeah, this guy just died and would take all his stuff. I am a nice man. I'm a nice guy, right? Loot everything. Icon to view your inventory. So I guess this game's telling you it's alright when people die, just take right everything they have. Click on the flashing icon so I'm equipping all this good stuff. Item mine, all mine. We'll come back to yeah, in a moment. Golem over here when he kill. <laughs> attack goblin. So you attack by right clicking and clicking attack goblin over here or attack. Why is he not attacking? I right click next over here. I'm sure this because of the tutorial, I mean, alright, I'm already equipped. Item screen shows oh my you the god, items tutorial, go away. I mean, this Your game is aimed at younger audiences as well. A lot of younger dies, kids play this game, so the game is you know, trying to teach you every aspect of the game. But if you've played an MRPG before, it's pretty straightforward. You'll figure most of it out. I mean, now, it's nothing to too. With the dragon. I doubt you're going to have a lot of these, these voiceovers after the tutorial, so... I don't want to give her props for that. Get more familiar with oh man, this, You'll learn other forms this of tutorial, I wish I could skip it. Tougher creatures. But we got our radar over Talk here, we got our stuff. To find out what he wants now, now, you saw at the beginning, I didn't actually pick a class, so the game's this class system and skill system was actually really interesting. But Instead of picking an actual class right off the bat, is held up by wooden uh, this is distracting me. <laughs> Instead of actually picking one class at the beginning, you just kind of build your character exactly how you want. Depending on what weapons you use, what skills you use, you'll improve those skills. And you can really create your character yourself. If you want to be a mage, you start casting spells and you'll gain, you know, skills in majory. It's magic actually, not majory. But if you use combat skills, you'll gain combat skills. You, no, if you start fishing, you'll gain fishing. And there's numerous crafting skills as well. Alright, I'm on Unstable Foundations quest. 
You'll see that All right, we have a lot of quests over here. Quest possible quests. Record what you're supposed to be doing in each quest. All right, go away. If you ever quest forget thing. what you were I, I mean, the game should let you skip this quest, but I don't think you can. To see a map of this All right, let's check out the map, guys, while we can. So the game has a nice map that teaches you, that shows you exactly where you are. You can see all the game's content and everything too. So the game's world is pretty big. The one real complaint I have with the game, the even though it's free to play, if you're a member, you get a lot of advantages. Members so can access new quests. The they can actually do a lot of stuff that you know, you free members more. can't. Most the importantly though, now, they actually can access many parts quests. of the game where free players are not allowed to go to. So they can access like, so I've got to get only one third of the game is actually available to free players. The other two thirds you have to pay to access, which kind of sucks. But most people can actually, you know, have a lot of fun with this game without ever paying. You can really, one third of the game is a lot. I mean, this game is so much content. This game has been around forever. Well, not forever, nine years. Nine plus years, so. Since then, they've been adding new content, balancing the game, adding, you know, bug fixes and everything. So it's a very polished game. So, I've got to get some meat from your bag. Alright, I got some meat from his bag. Yes. Go to the eastern side of the cellar on my right. Alright, I got you. Get some meat. Get some meat. I mustn't move or I'll lose the dragon's attention. He's like, oh, the dragon's just watching him, so it's pretty cool. Alright, what are we doing? We're using, right, I gotta do something, but I wasn't really paying attention. I gotta go this way. Climb over the wall and get some meat. Sounds like a good deal. Climb over wall. Alright, let's watch ourselves climb over the wall. Move, oh my god, wow. when you're in the world map, navigate to the, rotate the compass. Oh, the game wants me to click on the stupid compass. Time to get on oh, with the quest. Oh my god, alright. For a start, you'll need to get some meat from right, Savannah's search bag. search the bag, search the bag. I was trying to get ahead of myself there, guys. I'm sorry. And select thinking, search. thinking too much for this game. The bag contains several parcels right, of meat. grab this nonsense. Time to get on with the quest. Climb you'll need to climb over the wall. So I don't think I'm, I'm going to actually get out of the tutorial, but Why you can see the game's basic graphics. But it's really not bad, the graphics. Especially since they updated to HD earlier. I mean, this game if before HD up, looked terrible. Looked absolutely terrible, but a lot better. Try going to the eastern end where it's lower. Even even right, this low room. section of the wall is too high for you too to high climb. Too high for me to climb it. There must be something in the cellar for me to help me even get over. Oh my! What a hassle! What a hassle! Even right, this low explore section of the wall. Even this low section of the wall is too do this. high for you to climb over. I mean, this is easily one of the most popular games. There's like over 60 million registered players worldwide. It's a mega, mega popular game. I mean, I think it's worth checking out for sure if you haven't played it, because, I mean, a lot of people will hate it, but a lot of people will love it as well. It's easily one of the most in-depth free-to-play MMORPGs. I know I'm hyping this a lot, but it's really one of those games that... It's really the best browser-based MMORPG out there. I mean, it's so in-depth for a browser game. I mean, it's more in-depth than most client-based games, and you can play it anywhere in the world, just log onto a browser. And I'm just going to talk more about the game over here, because I'm not going to get to complete this tutorial, because... I wish I could skip this, but I can't. Oh well, I'm just going to talk a little more about the game. I'm running out of time anyway. We'll go dance around this pillar while I talk. Now, uh, the game's PvP is really interesting as well. I mean, you'd imagine a game like this that appeals mostly towards a younger audience, though a lot of older people play it as well. People like me who still play MapleStory, <laughs> on and off. Uh, the game's PvP is pretty hardcore. More hardcore than most games, you'd imagine. Uh, the PvP is pretty intense because if you die in the game, you actually drop your items on the floor. And if you don't pick them up in time, other players can get them. And in, in, a, you know, in a world where there's pretty much open PvP outside of town, if you die, you can be screwed. You, I mean, the game kind of saves you because you can save your uh, three most valuable items after you die. But your other items are lootable, lootable by other players, so it can get really intense. I mean, I know the game's PvP used to be more intense, like more open, but they kind of, you know, gipped it down a little bit and nerfed it and made it a little bit more... <laughs> A little bit more easy, so if you die, you don't, you don't lose everything, which is why you get to save three of your items. But that's more hardcore than World of Warcraft, so you can say that RuneScape is more hardcore than WoW, at least in the PvP aspect. So, and I've played WoW. I was a 60 warrior pre-Burning Crusade in a PvP server, Thunderlord. So, uh, and the PvP in that game was uh, pretty, pretty terrible actually, because you don't lose anything if you die. You lost, you had to like, repair your armor for like three gold, but it was nothing. So if you die here, though, you can get, you know, you have to, you have to really go back to your body and loot it all. Otherwise, you can, you can actually lose your equipment. That's something you just couldn't do in World of Warcraft. I mean, the game was easy because of that. The PvP was, you know, really nub stuff. So let's keep walking around over here. Should I try doing this? I'll talk to this guy. This is a pretty patient dragon. He's just kind of chilling and waiting over there. Pretty dumb dragon. He's being distracted by this guy waving his sword. Alright, let's, let's see if I can get over this wall, and I'll, I'll declare victory for myself. This section of the wall is too high for you to climb over. Alright, search his bag. Search the bag. Yeah. 
The bag contain the bag contains various supplies. All right. Let's examine the barrel. An empty barrel. Hmm. Very uh, sophisticated barrel over there. We can change our attack. I'm um, combat level three. Good stuff. We can change our attack types to stab, lunge, block, and slash. So different. You know, each attack will be more effective against certain monsters. So it's good to pay attention to that. Now, paying members do have access to many more quests. Though free players do have access to a lot of stuff too. My equipment screen over here. My world screen over here. Let's load this up again. And let's go look at our, look around the world. Now it is a big game world, as I said, because I mean the game's been around forever. The game is definitely worth checking out. I know there's a first looking at a full review. If you want to learn more about the game, definitely check out the full review below. I wish I could go more into the game, but this is just a very in-depth game. It offers there's so much to offer. A lot of people will say it sucks, but ignore that and just at least give the game a try. Anyway guys, if you guys do want to learn more about RuneScape or just play it yourself, check it out full review on the link below. Later you guys.